Now, Domenicali, the boss of F1, told me he's absolutely determined to have 23 races this year. So I know Mugello is in the mix as a spare, maybe Nürburgring, maybe there could be another Bahrain, we don't know. Double Austin has been mentioned at some point, hasn't it? So, you know, we also have to be concerned, I think, about Brazil, for example. Some of the countries we're going to are on the red list. So I think it's a daily challenge that Formula One has at the moment, and they're juggling away like crazy. But uh, I think it was inevitable we weren't going to make it to Melbourne again. They struggle pretty well, so let's see what they come up with. How key to Lewis Hamilton resuscitating his title bid is his victory uh, over Max Verstappen at this track next Sunday? I think it's critical now. We're already nine races into the season. Uh, Max could easily have won the last five. He's won four of the five. And Red Bull won the other one anyway, um, because obviously he had the puncture in Baku. He's on a roll. He dominated the second Austria and won the first Austria at a canter. Mm -hmm. Paul Riccardi had cover too. So Red Bull and Max Verstappen are the favourites for the title. And Mercedes have to come back at them hard and fast. And Silverstone would be their best chance. He's got two extra years to get to eight or maybe nine world championships. Do you think he would trade extra Mercedes development for the new rules looking forward? Or does he want the effort put in now to try and keep this bid going? Hamilton. I think Lewis will struggle if he looks at the rest of this season thinking, I just don't have the speed in the car to match Red Bull. I'm sure they'll be trying to finesse the car. Red Bull have done that to theirs, but with the cost caps now and with the resource the teams have and the dramatically new 2022 cars, you know, they need to keep working on that because that car will be homologated. That will be in play for a number of years. Get the 2022 car wrong and you'll take pain for two or three seasons. So you can't take that gamble. And uh, I think Mercedes will have to go, right, we've got a few tweaks to this one, then we'll call it off and see what happens on strategy, weather, luck, whatever. Lots for the capacity crowd to get behind in terms of British drivers. Lando Norris on the podium again, praised by Lewis Hamilton. What about George Russell? Would it surprise you if he's announced next week as Lewis's partner for 2022? It wouldn't surprise me if George got the drive next year alongside Lewis at Mercedes, whether it be announced at Silverstone. If they're going to do it, why not? Would be the perfect place. It's going to be a busy Silverstone. We've got the first of the sprint qualifyings coming up as well. So we've got qualifying Friday, sprint qualifying Saturday, race Sunday, lots going on, massive crowd, as you say. But, you know, if you were running Mercedes-Benz and you look at it and think, is Valtteri Bottas our man to win the championships when Lewis inevitably retires two, three, four years into the future? And you'd have to think, no, I hate to say that. I really admire Valtteri. I think he's a great driver. Does an amazing job up against the might of Lewis Hamilton. But you can't honestly say that if Lewis wasn't there, Valtteri would be dominating instead, can you? So I think Mercedes have to get a young gun in there that will emerge as their automatic new team leader sooner than later. Let's finish by talking about this beauty behind you. I mean, Martin, you, you're probably Jaguar's greatest ever driver with you, your exploits at Le Mans. This is a test day for you. You're looking ahead to, to Silverstone Classic. Yeah, I'm driving this beautiful lightweight E-Type uh, with my son Alex at the Jaguar Classic two weeks after uh, the British Grand Prix. So we've been going around this magnificent track. I mean, I first came here in the mid-1960s as a, as a spectator, and I ended up racing in, in everything, including Formula 1. I was chairman of the board here for a number of years. I love this place. I feel at home here. So to race a car like this with my son is going to be spectacular.